Hey data fans, Reed here. Today I wanted to do a follow up on a video that I did back with Miguel Myers in December where we talked about a whole grab bag of releases and new and updated features for some of the visuals. The ones that I want to focus on today, or the single one specifically, is the concept between erosion and explosion that they added for visuals. Now just as a brief summary, if you look in front of us here on the visual, erosion essentially allows you to create any type of a stacked chart with spacing between the values, but instead of adding spaces between them while maintaining the original value size for each of the ribbons in this case, it actually will erode into it. Now I want to talk about the difference between what erosion versus explosion is, some of the implications and feature considerations around it. So with that being said, let's hop into Power BI and get started. So to start the conversation, I want to compare and contrast what the ribbon was like originally versus now with these new explosion versus erosion option features. So the one on the left is the original one that we've had for years, and the only option we used to previously have was an explosion. So each of the ribbons could be stacked on top of each other, and you could add a gap between the ribbons, um, but that also meant that we could not have any axis as well, because as an example, Certain months might have these categories, but also there could be gaps in those months. So if you end up with an explosion with four categories in the first month or whatever you happen to have on your axis, that's going to add X number of pixels. If the next month ends up with only three out of four of those categories, then the spacing overall between each of the categories, which are fewer, will then be smaller. So you couldn't actually put a Y axis on this due to this reason because it would not be a fair comparison to have an axis tracking um, horizontally on the Y scale because there wouldn't be an equal distribution of those spacings period over period, potentially. Now we have the new feature where instead of just adding a gap while keeping the original size of these bars, we have something called an erosion where it will add a gap, but that eats into each category by a number of pixels that you set. Because of this, there's not any increased height. So that actually allows, regardless of the number of categories, always to have a fair comparison, which now gives us the freedom, as you can see on the right, to be able to add a Y axis scale. So to give you a better concept of this, one, I drew a line across with a, an object just to show you how this one is taller with the added padding without eating or eroding into the bars, and then the erosion on the right where it has a lower height with all of those because now it's eroding into it rather than exploding between them but I wanna show you the feature on here. I'm gonna come over to chart analysis and I'm gonna zoom in a bit just so we can actually take a better look at this chart here. So with the chart selected, if you come over to the format pane and look under columns, there'll be some new options under layout that we have. Now in here, we'll see that there is an option to have space between series and series explosion. So right now, this is set on erosion. Now the original ribbon chart, as I mentioned, Back in the day, you used to have this option where you had a space between series. There was no explosion toggle of turning this on or off. It simply just gave you an option to have a space between the series and you could choose the, the padding essentially between the ribbons. Now, as you can see over on the right, no Y axis, no scale or anything. There was just no way to do that with the ribbon. But if you turn this off, I can get an axis now and then I get a space between the series. So I'm going to set this at zero just so you can see the erosion. Now watch with a zoomed in perspective as I tick this up. So one pixel, two, the ribbon size for overall height for each of these columns essentially is not changing. It is slowly eroding one pixel at a time into this. Now, this is a feature that I personally like a lot, especially for the ribbon, because I think there's a lot of powerful design elements to this. And I honestly like having a y-axis scale for the ribbon chart. You could technically use this on a few of the other ones, such as the uh, stack column chart and others, but I will say that be cautious with using this with other visuals because the scale and comparative size between these now can change a little bit because you're eroding into it. So obviously a smaller category like the blue down here, eroding five pixels away from that takes a greater percentage of that ribbon than it would be for a larger amount. So the true visual scale can change when you're using this. I think for a ribbon chart, it makes a lot of sense to do this. For other visuals, generally the explosion type option where the original sizes are kept and it just adds padding between them makes more sense versus the uh, the ribbon chart itself. But this is something that uh, I'm sure there's a lot of art and science that goes into opinions on where to use this and when. I think the number one practical purpose for sure is going to be the ribbon chart that we have in front of us here. 
Um, but otherwise, I'd love to hear from you in the comments uh, some things or thoughts that you might have about whether or not you would or would not want to use it, whether or not you like explosion versus erosion. Um, I saw some interesting opinions on um, Twitter and LinkedIn about this a few months ago, and people either loving it or hating it. So I, again, personally really love this for the ribbon chart specifically, but drop those notes down below. As always, check out some of my related content here in the upper left. Don't forget to like, comment, or subscribe to help this channel grow, and I'll see you all in my next video.